Welcome back everybody. So guys in this class I just want to teach you about the next step of the jQuery UI. Basically I just want to work on the forms. So what I'm just going to teach you, I'm just going to teach you about the autocomplete for now. So what is the autocomplete? If you remember that we just learned the list input in the HTML5 that we can just bring out the data which we just type collectively just like the select tag. I'll just show you what I just want to say. So first of all, let's just add a simple div and go inside and there create an input in this way and the type, you know, the text I'm just putting here and then we need to add the ID. Here I'm just typing get data, save and then from where I'm just getting the data for that I'm going there. First of all, I'm just making a variable. If you remember that how we can create the variables in the JavaScript, simply var and now the variable name. I'm just typing here the var1 and equal to and then what I'm just doing here, I'm just creating a simple object in here, going inside and just putting some data inside it. Well, this is not an object. This is the array because you know that if you just want to make the object, we have to use the call the braces. So by the way, what I'm just putting here, first of all, the Pakistan, comma, the India, another comma, and the Brazil, any country if you, you just want to put, you can, Canada, and then the United Kingdom comma United States comma China and the Russia okay I can put the data as much as I want just suppose I'm just putting the country names here now save and what more I just need to do press inner And then here the dollar and the basic jQuery syntax which you know already and then go down and uh, the ID is the get data so the selector will be the get data get data and go there and what I just want to do I just want to apply the auto complete well now I just apply the auto complete but it's not completed I just have to make it a perfect object and I just have to put this var1 variable with this inside this auto complete I just need to call the source source property and then I'm just putting the value inside it as the var1. So now save it and go to the browser back and refresh that. Now you can see that this is the input. Now let's just type A. So now the A is in the Russia, the China, the United States, the Canada, all of them has the A. But if I just type the Z, so no one has the Z, only the Brazil. If I just type the P, so only the Pakistan has P, okay? The interesting thing which is better in it, better than the HTML5 that if you just pick, if you just type the S, so the Pakistan has been selected. However, Pakistan starting from P and United States starting from U and the Russia from R. So we just, we are not bounded to put the word which is starting, the, the starting character actually. So here I'm just typing here the R. So the Brazil and Russia, but if I just type RA, so only the Brazil because the RA is in the Brazil, but if I just type the RU, so now the Russia. So this is called the autocomplete. Pretty awesome. Let's just want to learn something more. For example, if I just go to the browser, if I just type here the A, so now you can see that a lot of text is here. I just want to see the four results at a time. What I meant the other one should be hidden or actually scrollable so if you just want to make it a scrollable just go there and add some style and type dot UI auto complete okay and don't need to do any other thing the auto complete automatically be applied on that one that object so then just put the method you know how to put the CSS and then I just want to make the max height as here 
100 px so now save and I'm just going to the browser and refreshing now type a and now you can see that this is limited but something more we need to do you know that the text is going out so go back to the notepad we just need to put the overflow and I just want to overflow is auto so save and go back to the browser and now refresh the page click press a and now you can see that the content is now managed perfectly but this is not looking perfect the horizontal is scrolling so go back to the browser and the I just want the overflow Y it means the vertical overflowing is auto but if we talk about the overflow of X the horizontal so now the hidden just simply hidden the the thing if overflowing in horizontally so now press a and now this is perfect this is what I just want to play so now guys in the next class we'll just learn some more things stay tuned and goodbye